Welcome back to the Compliance Kitchen. This is Sylvia, and today I want to look at a new task force that was recently announced by the DOJ and the Treasury Department. Before we get into that, please note that what you hear on Compliance Kitchen is not legal advice and it should not be used as such. So on March 16, the DOJ and the Treasury Department, uh, together with uh, Australia, Canada, and uh, Japan and European allies, uh, announced a launch of a so-called Russian elites, proxies, and oligarchs, or repo, a multilateral task force. Uh, the task force was initially announced by the White House as a joint effort uh, back in February. Uh, The task force aims to collect and share information to take concrete actions, including asset freezing, uh, asset seizure, and criminal prosecution uh, against uh, Russian elites. Uh, The task force members discussed ways to ensure the effective coordinated implementation of the financial sanctions already in effect uh, against Russia in connection with its war on Ukraine as well as assistance to other nations uh, that can help locate and freeze assets located within their jurisdictions. And the task force uh, members also discussed the need to preserve evidence and determine whether uh, frozen assets uh, or other assets linked to sanctioned individuals or entities are also subject to forfeiture. Uh, The Treasury took steps to boost cooperation and intelligence sharing, and in particular FinCEN, which is the Treasury's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, uh, will increase information sharing and also was uh, releasing an alert to financial institutions about identifying and reporting suspicious transactions by uh, sanctioned Russian uh, elites and also their proxies that involve real estate, luxury goods, and high-value assets. Uh, Treasury will also launch the Kleptocracy Asset Recovery Rewards Program, uh, which is a program that will offer uh, rewards, as as the name suggests, to uh, individuals for information that leads to seizure, restraint, or forfeiture of assets that are linked to foreign government corruption, including the government of the Russian Federation. If you would like more information on the program, uh, this is available on treasury.gov. Again, that's the uh, Kleptocracy Asset Recovery Rewards Program. And uh, the Treasury also uh, released a list of 50 individuals uh, to the task force who are priorities for the United States. And if you would like to take a look at the names, they are also available on home.treasury.gov. Mm-hmm.